main chapter in this lecture. So first of all, what is its chapter name? The chapter name is called Planning and Development of Smart City Infrastructure. So in this chapter, what is the contain? So the contain is uh, energy, ecology, solar energy for smart city, housing. Green building, safety, security, disaster management, economy, cyber security, and project management. Clear? So this type, uh, this type of topics, which are included in second chapter, that called planning and development of smart city infrastructure. So what is the energy and ecology? So climate change, clear due to the advancement of technology, due to the increase of the population, due to the urbanization. Obviously, climate change at the world level as well as for city level. So that particular world and city is moves to the smart policy. So what is the smart policy? Like, like that sustainable mobility, energy upgrading their stock, increase of energy production from renewable sources, improvement of waste management. Clear? So you know that uh, nowadays government or that particular NGOs and all of the, most of the people follow the renewable sources clear yeah. or pursue the follow pursue the renewable sources clear yeah. and you know that before past in past there are no types of uh, modern method to dispose waste clear yeah. nowadays there are various kinds of method to dispose waste but due to the lack of knowledge, they dispose based into sea on the ground. Clear. So due to that, the climate change drastically. Then global population increase. As I said, that the decrease of energy sources obviously because the population increase, they not meet the demand of infrastructure services and energy sources. So obviously, the sources of that particular infrastructures services as well as energy it is decreased and climate change obviously change of the climate drastically you know that in canada there are heat waves in delhi there are various uh, kinds of problems are occurred due to environment change clear then after green buildings so then after air pollution you know that again delhi is a best example for that so in early days, early morning, you cannot see due to the fog. Yeah, so the pollution level in most of the city, which is very high. So due to that, there are uh, dangerous accidents occur. Yeah, so that people move to the green building and smart mobility. Yeah, what is the smart mobility? We can discuss it. So, clear that address of energy and environment efficiency of existing building. So, the introductions of renewable sources in urban area. So obviously, that existing building, how can you improve the efficiency? So, you can improve the efficiency by providing some ventilation and some type of sources which is are renewable. Clear. So, most of the uh, shopping mall houses, schools, colleges, they follow or no, they follow renewable sources, clear, which is conventional. So energy consumptions are key features of smart city, clear. So, we already discussed in 2050, 70% of populations are moved in city. So, obviously, city have to be maximum amount of energy. Without that particular energy, the smart city becomes failure. So energy concerns is a very important point for smart city. So what is the energy plan? That smart urban solution require integrations of energy design into spatial planning and urban plan. Yeah. So obviously that smart urban solution means Smart city that particular require uh, innovative solutions into that spatial planning and urban planning. 
supplying renewable sources are being questioned for it. Clear? Like we know that solar power. We discuss what is the meaning of solar power. That solar power which is outside of the city or that particular thermal plant or nuclear plant which is outside of the city. So that electricity which generated from that power plant which is supplying to the city which is very big question for city because it requires lots of finance here and it is very dangerous. Heat integration and heat storage, integration of industrial based heat and solar thermal energy are major aspect. So due to thermal power plant, you know that there are various uh, byproducts, various waste products from that particular power plant, like ash, fly ash. Here, yeah, so this is this type of waste material disposed to the particular area, which is a very big aspect for city. The next one, smart grid and smart line. So, what is a smart grid and what is a smart line? You know that what is the meaning of smart grid. So, involvement of reducing energy consumption on urban scale. So that smart city are focused on the improvement on the improvement of the municipal electricity grid to make it smart grid. Clear? Like we have uh, Sabarmati power plant. Clear? So we can improve that power plant into smart grid or EMC anchorage or help that power plant become smart grid and increasing the efficiency of public lighting with the replacement of outdated lamps like in past in our road we have outdated lamps street light clear so they can replace by modern lighting like which is a led or solar light so that call a smart lighting and that call a smart clear so the next one smart grid so what is a smart grid you know that there is a smart grid is an electricity network this is an electricity network that uses digital and other modern technologies to monitor and manage the transport electricity. Yeah. So, by the smart grid, we minimize the cost and environmental impacts and maximize the reliability, resilience, and stability by the smart grid. Yeah. So, this is the two benefits of smart grid. Next. Characteristic of smart grid. So, what is the characteristic of smart grid? There are various types of characteristic, like seven characteristic. First one, energy generation. Then second one, self filling. So, in self filling, that particular grid rapidly detects, analyzes, and responds of that electricity. Sorry. Then third one, that called electricity market. Fourth one, demand and response, demand response, fifth one, energy efficiency, sixth one, power quality, storage of. So this type of characteristic which is included in characteristic of smart clear. You can say that what is in power quality. So that provides power quality to user like the grids provide quality power consistent with the consumer and industry need. Clear? The next one, need for smart grid in India. Why we need that particular smart grid? So, the power system in India has roughly double times in the last decade. Clear? So, with 230 gigawatt, so gigawatt is the unit of electricity, of installed capacity with utilities. The Indian power system is now the fourth largest. Which is the fourth largest in the world. But the per capita consumption, which is one fourth of that power developed. Clear? So we have the maximum amount of power, but we can use minimum amount of power, clear? which is one fourth of that particular power developed. Clear? So this low consumption. 
is amplified by the lack of access of electricity so that so that particular government provide or transform that electricity in rapid uh, rapid pace so all the people get electricity as soon as possible clear so the potential demand by 2032 is estimated to be as a 900 gigawatt clear how much 9 900 gigawatt in 2032 clear so india is pursuing otherwise india is following aggressive renewable energy mission program or generation program yeah, so the 12 five year uh, five year plan target that for different types of five year plan. So this is a 12 five year plan that target for renewable energy that called RE in short form that called RE renewable energy generation is 36 gigawatt. Clear, yeah, which is increase the shape 12 to 20 percent. Clear by 12 year. Five year plan, 12 five year plan, 36 gigawatt and increase the share 12 to 20 percent. End of this decade, clear. And it is discussed and decided for the smart city, approximately 10 percentage of the energy has to come from the renewable sources. Clear. That's why we require smart grid in our India. The next topic, solar energy for smart city. So India is witnessing unparalleled transformation from rural to predominantly urban living over the last few decades. So we already discussed, uh, we already discussed urbanization clear. So how much 50% of population who lives in urban city? But by 2025. That 70 percentage of people who lives in urban city. Clear. So that, that's why we require large amount of infrastructure facility and smart solution. Clear. So obviously the population has increased. So the smart city have maximum amount of energy or maximum amount of electricity. So that particular government or that particular authority discussed. And derive that 10 percent, approximately 10 percent of energy which come which comes from the renewable sources in smart cell. Clear? Yeah. The renewable energy technology will contribute a lot achieving objective of the smart city mission to make them zero quality and self sufficient, self sustaining city. Clear? So, by the renewable energy technology, that city becomes zero polluting city and self sustaining cities. Further continue, the topic the renewable energy, like solar energy, has a lot much to contribute in that rooftop of, of solar energy. We make the smart city household. Self sustaining in their energy requirement. Clear. The rooftop system. You know that uh, solar rooftop is very useful to produce smart in produce electricity in smart city. So that city becomes self sustaining city and obviously zero it produces zero polluting energy. Then effective and efficient utilization of available rooftops to the net metering facility. Clear. Like we, uh, you have in your house one kilowatt solar panel, clear, so that develop excess amount of electricity, so you can transfer or you can store that particular electricity for for the development, and also you can transfer that particular electricity to the government, so you can uh, you can gain some money from that development. Yeah. So that solar energy can be harnessed in different forms like a rooftop solar, solar street lighting, solar water heater, solar pump, solar traffic signal, solar concentrated based. So as you know that 
in our uh, school education, we already discussed or we already learned about solar cooker. Clear? Yeah. In past, we use solar water heaters. Clear? Yeah, for to boil or to hot that water. This is a total six types of system which is harnessed by harnessed solar energy. Then what is the benefits of solar energy? Clear. So that benefits will be discussed in next lecture. Clear. Thank you.